Now, as in usual Shangri-La dialogue tradition, day two's first plenary session is reserved for the U.S. Secretary of Defense. This morning, Lloyd Austin's speech focused on the U.S. commitment to the region. He said that, I quote, today's Indo-Pacific is our priority theater of operations. Today's Indo-Pacific is at the heart of America's grand strategy. Now, this is a continued message from his last appearance in 2019, uh, at that time to a skeptical audience following years of underinvestment in Asia-Pacific under the Trump administration. This morning, he went on to list the progress in the rapid development in the Quad, the newly uh, trilateral AUKUS security partnership, but of course, the elephant in the room is the Ukraine-Russia conflict. Uh, he said, I quote, that Russia's indefensible assault on a peaceful neighbor has galvanized the world and Putin's reckless war of choice has reminded us all of the, all of the danger of undercutting an international order rooted in rules and respect. He also said, we are meeting today at a moment of great consequence for the whole world and not just for Europe. Now, this echoed very much the Japanese prime minister's speech last night when he said that I myself have a strong sense of urgency that Ukraine today may be East Asia tomorrow. Uh, writing on these anxieties, uh, Austin later in his speech uh, singled out China, raising issues in the South China Sea, East China Sea, as well as Taiwan. He said that the U.S. One China policy has not changed, but unfortunately does not seem to be true for China. They witnessed an increase in provocative activity in China, Taiwan. Now, we know for sure that the Chinese delegation will study Austin's speech word by word carefully and will surely offer a rebuttal in in their presentation tomorrow. Now, one of the key takeaways from Austin's speech, I think, is that he said U.S. would do not seek confrontation, do not seek conflict, and do not seek a regional NATO. And they would not ask their allies to choose sides. This must be music to the ears uh, to the ASEAN delegations, as they have long expressed their unwillingness to choose sides between the two superpowers. In fact, Indonesian Defense Minister put it eloquently uh, at one of the panel discussion this morning. He said that we choose to be free and not be engaged with military alliance. He said, we consider ourselves to respect all major powers and all neighbors. He even quoted Nelson Mandela said, your enemy does not necessarily be my enemy. Indonesia remembers it was supported by the U.S. and Australia during independence. But Indonesia also remembers China has always been a good friend to Indonesia. He ended the, uh, the, the Q&A, said that the Asian way is, is that each country has their own way to solve their problems. So lots of highlights, lots of exciting debates taking place uh, uh, in the ballrooms in the Shangri-La Dialogue.